Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Saturday, December 19th, 2020. Free pick coming up in just a moment in college football. A couple of quick notes. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. It is as simple as that. Again, all you got to do, click on that link below the video to get started and get that free $60 account. All right, we're doing this uh, video early afternoon Friday. Got a couple of basketball plays and a football play that uh, are yet to have gone. And going into Friday, college basketball, 70% winning sides going all the way back to day two of the college basketball season. That's three weeks ago. And uh, we'll look to continue this weekend. Got a big college basketball card on Saturday that I'm about to jump into in handicap. And I'm sure we'll have at least a couple of plays for Saturday slate in college baskets. As far as football, we still got six plays to go if you're watching this after Friday night. We've got Saturday college football, which doesn't begin, by the way, until about 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific time. We've also got not only Saturday college football, we've got two bowl plays for this upcoming week, Monday and Wednesday college football bowl action. And I've got my full slate of three NFL games going Sunday. That includes a big six star in the NFL on Sunday. You know how well we've done with these high-end plays, 67 and 45 uh, 60% with my last 112 college football and NFL high-end plays combined. We swept last week with our high-end plays, went 71% overall. Let's rack it up. Let's do it again. So six plays in all Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. And again, the Monday, Wednesday games are bowl games in college football. Six star on Sunday in the NFL. Don't miss out on that. All right. Uh, let's get to it. And we will, by the way, have soccer for those of you who have asked on Saturday. We have an early Saturday play, uh, and then we probably will have a late Saturday afternoon play definitely on some Sunday action in soccer. Let's get to it. We are talking college football, Big Ten style. Uh, this game goes early evening, late afternoon on Saturday, depending on what part of the country you are in. Uh, we are recommending laying the points with Penn State. Listen, this team has won, what, three in a row. They're running the football. And the number one thing is Clifford's not throwing picks left and right. He's actually throwing them uh, to his players, to his teammates. And we look for that to continue. They should be able to run the football all day long against a horrible, putrid Illinois run defense. Also, Illinois gives up a heck of a lot of completed passes. This is just a bad spot for what I like to call over the years a dead football team, and I believe the Illini are that. I don't think they get any bump at all from the firing of Lovey Smith. He's popular among the players. They're not going to come around. I don't think they can have extra motivation for this game against the Nittany Lions, but again, it's Penn State cleaning up their act. They're not making a ton of mistakes like they were when they started the season 0-5, and, and they're seeing the results for it, while the Illini, boy, they've just gone downhill and also what you're going to see here is a Penn State run defense that has been spectacular the last couple of weeks I don't think Illinois is going to be able to run either they're going to be a one-dimensional offense likely falling behind by a couple of touchdowns in this game which makes them even more, more one-dimensional because they're going to have to throw the football to try to come back and keep up in my handicapping opinion so I think Penn State's uh, the way to go here they're laying about 15 points or thereabouts and as I'm looking at all my casinos across the uh, board here about 16 casinos Casinos. Uh, Penn State, of course, laying about 15 points there. We recommend them a free play for Saturday. An opinion on Penn State minus the points over Illinois. Uh, don't forget about Saturday college basketball. Don't forget about Saturday, Sunday football action, college and pro, and of course our first two bowl games which go early this coming week. All available right now over at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. We'll be right back here late Saturday afternoon or early Saturday evening with a free play from Sunday's NFL. We'll talk to you then.